hello guys welcome back new brand video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to fix this type of error unable to verify app scotland so how to fix first of all go back your home screen and open your iphone and ipad setting then scroll down search for this safari app tap on safari app and from here you scroll down then tap on advance then tap on website data and from here you scroll down then tap on remove all website data and tap on remove now and after that go back scroll down then tap on clear history and WordPress data then tap on clear history and from here go back scroll up then tap on journal and from here you tap on iPhone storage and from here you make sure that delete useless app and after that go back scroll down then tap on date and time and from here Make sure that turn on board toggle. If the toggle turn off, what you need to do turn on board toggle and make sure that select correct date and time. And after that, go back, scroll down, then type on VPN and device management. Type on this, and from here, if you connect anyone VPN, you make sure that disconnect. And after that, go back, then type on transfer or reset iPhone, then type on this, and then type on reset, then type on reset network setting, enter your passcode, then type on reset network setting. After reset network setting, Check whether the problem had been fixed or not. If the problem is not fixed, then go for the last method. Go back your home screen and open again iPhone and iPad setting. Then tap on Wi-Fi and make sure that connect strong Wi-Fi connection. Turn off this toggle at least the 30 second you have. Turn it on and after that go back. If you use mobile data, then turn on airplane mode and after a few seconds you have turn it off. And after that, check whether the problem had been fixed or not. If the problem is not fixed. Then tap on screen time, scroll down, then tap on content and privacy section, then tap on iTunes and App Store purchase. And from here, you as can see required password, what you need to do it, select don't require, and after that, tap on installing app. And from here, you make sure that tap on allow, and after that, go back, then tap on in app purchase. And from here, you make sure that select allow option, and after that, go back, go back your home screen and open again iPhone and iPad setting scroll down then tap on journal and from here tap on software update and from here update your iPhone and iPad and after update your iPhone and iPad I hope your problem will be fixed if this is helpful then like and subscribe my channel if you have any problem share with me in the comments box I am help you more thanks for watching